In this problem, we're going to talk about conservation of linear momentum. So first, remember that the momentum of a particle is equal to the mass times the velocity, and that the total momentum of a system is conserved in the absence of external forces. So uh, the initial momentum, that is the sum of the individual momenta of the particles, is equal to the final total momentum of uh, the system. Okay, so in our problem, we have an object moving uh, through space. The object has a mass of 20 kilograms and is moving with a velocity of 200 meters per second along the x direction. So I'm going to multiply it by the unit vector in the x direction, i. And then this object explodes. And it explodes into three parts. The first part has a mass of 10 kilograms and moves with a velocity v1 of 100 meters per second in the positive y direction. So we have to multiply it by j. M2, uh, the second mass, is 4 kilograms and moves with a velocity of minus 500 meters per second in the i direction. Okay, so it's in the negative uh, x direction. And our goal is to find, in question A, what is the velocity v3 of the third mass uh, produced in this explosion. Notice that since the mass is conserved, and the initial mass is 20 uh, kilograms, then the final mass is the initial mass minus the, the other two masses. So it's 20 kilograms minus 4 kilograms minus 10 kilograms, and that's 6 kilograms. Okay, uh, so we have that MV is equal to m1v1, mv is the initial uh, momentum, and the final momentum is m1v1 plus m2v2 plus m3v3. mv is 20 kilograms times 200 meters per second. In the i direction, and this is equal to uh, 10 kilograms times 100 meters per second in the j direction, minus 4 kilograms times 500 meters per second in the j direction, plus 6 v3, 6 kilograms v3. Uh, I'm just going to omit the uh, unit for, from now on, but uh, I'm always talking in the international system. So we have 4,000 I minus 1,000 J plus uh, 2,000 uh, I, this should be I, I wrote J here, I'm sorry for that, is equal to 6V3. So 6V3 is equal to 6,000 I minus 1,000 J, meaning that V3 is 1,000 I minus 1,000 divided by 6, I'm going to simplify it as 500 divided by 3. J, this is in meters per second. So this is our velocity. And in question B, we have to uh, calculate how much energy was released in the explosion. And that energy is equal to the difference in energy, difference in kinetic energy of, this, of the uh, particles of the system. So it's the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. This is the energy that was 
released this because this is the factor by which not not the factor but this is the number by which the energy increased uh, after the explosion. So it's equal to the final kinetic energy that's one half of m one. V1 squared plus one half of M2 V2 squared plus one half of M3 V3 squared minus one half of MV squared. Uh, so there is one half overall multiplied by 10 and the speed is 100 meters per second. And we divide it by two. M2 is 4 and the speed is 500 meters per second and then we divide it by 2. Uh, M3 is 6, the speed is, we have to go back here and calculate the speed V3 as the square root of 1000 squared plus 500 divided by 3 squared. This is the magnitude of the velocity. So V3 is 1013.8 meters per second. So 6 times 1013.8 squared divided by 2. Actually, I'm sorry, I've been dividing things by 2, so I shouldn't have this uh, one half term. I'm sorry for that. Minus 20 times 200 meters per second squared divided by 2. And the answer is 3.23 times 10 to the 6 joules. And this concludes our exercise.